Hello my friends, my name is Darren from RC Skill Models and today we're taking another kit review and this one's from Tamiya this is their T3476 this kit's been around for a while now um, this is going to be my entry into the uh, T34 group build this is the only T34 I have in my stash so let's take a look anyway It's a nice box art. Um, to me, I do the usual uh, kits in their white boxes. A little bit of information on the uh, kit in Japan, I think that is. Some uh, other kits. Um, this is 1942 version of the uh, T34. Uh, kit number or kit item is 35049. So let's take a look at inside. Unfortunately, we do have the, uh, the rubber tracks. It, like, like I say, it is a little bit of an older version. Um, I'm never a fan of rubber tracks, but unfortunately, that's what we got to work with. I am going to do this straight out of the box, no aftermarket, just straight up what we get. A nice upper hole, lower hole, which is a bathtub hole. You can tell it's the older version because it's got the bits inside for the uh, batteries, turret. Wheels, poly caps, engine covers and stuff, and more wheels. So we'll take a closer look at this. So we start with the rubber tracks. It is nice, good detail for rubber, but as I say, I'm, I'm never a fan. I do like the plastic, or if I can fork out for the metal ones but this is just going to be straight out of the box so the upper hole section to mirror the staples So here's the upper hole, nicely done. Here's the front of the vehicle. This one is the lower. Like I mentioned before, there's the inside for the uh, battery compartment because it is like the older version. It should have the date on there. 1970, uh, sorry, 1987. So yeah, it is, it is an old mould. But to me, I don't know how they do it, but they seem to make their kits last test of time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so pretty good. So we have barrel, wooden planks, so here we have some of the wheels, nice detail, some stowage, uh, I think this is part of the gun, gun breech, we do have a crew figure, one of their older style not bad for plastic the back of the uh, tank is all rough and cast uh, these look like more stowage good boxes it's like part, more part of the gun some pioneer tools a little bit flashy those ones a, bit, a little bit rough no problem we do get this wooden plastic log or a, a two pieces to make some logs they're not bad for plastic but I'll probably end up taking some twigs or something or wooden sticks or whatever from the garden we shall see we have these fine detail parts at the top and that is sprue E
In here we have looks like the turret. So yeah, this is sprue D. This is part of the turret. It has a cast texture on it as well. Grab handles. It is two piece turret. It has a nice texture on it. Really rough weld seams and whatever. Russian tanks were just thrown together. Mass produced. T-34 is probably one of their most reliable tanks and most mass produced ones I think. It's uh, one of their most common ones. Pretty cool. Another crew figure. He's got a pole in his hand. What was that surrendering? I don't think he was surrender. I don't think Russians surrendered. But yeah, pretty cool. i say it should go together pretty pretty easy, pretty well. No issues, it's typical to me. So we got some uh, ends for the uh, wheels and some poly caps. These are like a flexible rubber or flexible plastic. So this is sprue A, contains the back, engine deck and the front, uh, transmission covers and stuff. So here we have some detail parts. These look like uh, the ends for the uh, fuel drums, which are here. These are all dented and stuff, which is nicely done as well, instead of just being all smooth and in in really good condition these are all like dented up which is nice more grab handles spare tracks transmission cover it looks like there's two types you have this part as well you have these two ends i don't know what they're for maybe for the part of the wheels uh one of the hatches inside and outside detail uh, what else we have on here? Here's the back of the uh, tank with one of the escape hatches. The engine cover. Exhaust covers. And these are vents. Pretty cool. Not an awful lot of parts. Oh, there is the tow cable. Unfortunately done it all in plastic. There is no string or anything or weight with this one. I noticed in the bottom of the bag you do get this uh, metal bar and some screws. I just imagine when we look in the structures, I think the rod, the rod is for the uh, drive sprocket and the screws is so you can screw the two halves together. And these are all the wheels. This is sprue C. So I think these are inserts and these are the uh, outer wheels. So nicely done. It's got the nice thick chunky rubber on the outside. There's another one of the uh, wheels. I think these are the outer ones. And these are the inserts behind at the back. Smaller wheels. The main road wheels. Again. Nicely done. We have got a bit of a seam line on the rubber, but it's easy to take care of. Take a couple of chips out of the rubber so it's a little bit worn up. But yeah, nicely done these wheels. I'd say that's Spruce C. And that is pretty much it for the kit. As for the paperwork, you get two instructions, one in English and one in Japan. I think the other one is. We won't need your Japan one because I can't read it. Uh, you do get your decals as well. You have a quick look at these. You get all uh, numbers, so you can pretty much do any number you, you like. You do get these right in. I don't know what they mean, or 
I don't understand some of them because he's Russian. Anyone that knows what he means in English, feel free to comment. So nicely done. As for instructions, I think it's a pull-out page because it's an older one. Yeah, it is a pull-out page, so it's going to be a bit all over the place. But here's the front of the uh, worksheet. Nice information. If you wish to read it, pause the video. And so where's here's step one? So our first step is sprue map everything you get in the kit. You got your colours down the side and part numbers and stuff. Um, first step, working on the wheels, putting the two halves together. Pretty simple. Don't forget the poly caps. Touching your wheels and the front transmission cover. The um looks like the driver's hatch. Second step is engine cover, the rear of the tank, the exhaust covers. They're asking for you to bend, sorry not bend, but um use stretch sprue. It's probably for aerials and stuff. I will show you how to do that when I come to build it, if you're not sure what stretch sprue is. Uh, the actual gun itself um, and the breech. Inside the turret, two halves, the gun mounting area, or the part of the breech, the floor, the top of the tank, and the uh, commander's hatch. Touching the upper hole and the turret, and it's a paint assembly, ready for paint. Um, I would obviously do the tracks last. These are the uh, jerry cans, not jerry cans, sorry, the uh, fuel cans, fuel, fuel tanks, and storage boxes. And then, then, yeah. So we have a couple of versions here. We have the ones with the storage and the ones with logs. Just kind of showing you where to put them. One of the paint options is the winter camouflage. So it'd be uh, the Russian green with a whitewash camo. May do that, may not, all depends. And then some of the uh, marking options where to stick certain markings number six, uh, 64 and we have these ones with the writing all over them and that's pretty much it oh, lots of things yep, that's it for the instructions There you are my friends, there's another kit from Tamiya, the T34-76, as I say it's my entry into the uh, group build, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.